Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Spoiler Zone, where we dive deep into the latest movies. Today, we're talking about Roadhouse 2024. Buckle up, because this one is a wild ride. So, we've got Jake Gyllenhaal playing Elwood Dalton, a former UFC fighter with a rough past. Right from the start, you can tell he's a troubled guy. He's been scamming fighters and just barely avoids a pretty intense train accident. Talk about starting off with a bang. Dalton ends up in the Florida Keys, working as a bouncer at this chaotic roadhouse owned by Frankie, played by Jessica Williams. She's dealing with a crowd that's more trouble than it's worth, and she desperately needs someone like Dalton to keep things in check. The movie really kicks off when Dalton starts taking on a local crime boss, Ben Brandt. There are fights, explosions, and even a crocodile. Yep, a crocodile. The action scenes are intense, and if you love a good bar brawl, this movie has you covered. But it's not all punches and kicks. Dalton meets Ellie, the local doctor, and they hit it off. She adds a nice layer to the story trying to keep him grounded amidst all the chaos. What I really liked about Roadhouse is how it mixes action with personal redemption. Dalton's dealing with some heavy stuff from his past, and you can feel that weight throughout the film. He's trying to do the right thing, even when everything seems stacked against him. The climax on the yacht? Absolutely thrilling. Explosions, a daring rescue, and a final showdown that leaves you on the edge of your seat. Dalton really steps up, and you can't help but root for him, despite his flaws. And that ending? Perfect wrap-up. It's satisfying to see Dalton leave a bit of hope behind for the community he's come to care about. Overall, Roadhouse 2024 is an action-packed thrill ride with heart. If you're into movies where the hero fights against all odds and discovers a bit of redemption along the way, this one's for you. Let me know what you thought of the film in the comments below. Did it live up to the hype? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in to the Spoiler Zone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more movie reviews. Catch you next time.